Hi, I'm Jill Landon. I'm the site manager and curator for Whalehead and Historic Crawler. Today, this site serves as a historic house museum. But it was built in 1922 for Mr. and Mrs. Edward Collins Knight Jr. And they were a wealthy couple from the Northeast who liked to hunt. The house is known for its decorative style called Art Nouveau, which was just a French term that meant new art. And it looked to nature for its inspiration. This house couldn't have been situated on a more natural, beautiful site. The house is 21,000 square feet with five floors. It's a lot bigger than it looks from the outside. It had the most modern amenities for its time. The library, which we're in today, is probably the most formal of the rooms in the house. It even had an original 1903 Steinway that was made for Mrs. Knight. The piano was made from a sketch. And generally when this happened, the piano was reproduced up to 2,000 times, but this one never was. And we discovered that the records were burned in 1928. So we are very fortunate to have this beautiful original Steinway. One of our esteemed pianists, Robert Smith, who plays for a number of our events, will be playing a selection of tunes from the time. It's a, a joy to play the uh, Steinway uh, that once belonged to Ms. Knight. Uh, as a matter of fact, the Steinway name is synonymous with quality instruments and great workmanship and uh, I think it's such a privilege to do so. Uh, so at this time, I'd like to share a piece of music uh, entitled The Red Rose Rag, and this was written by Mr. Percy Winrich uh, back during uh, Ragtime's heyday, and I thought it'd be a fun one to share with you on today. The next piece that I would like to share with you is another piece from the early 1900s. And uh, this one has been performed by uh, numerous artists over the years. It's been played slowly, it's been played fast, uh, but it's a song, the words are by Mort Dixon, and uh, the music was by Ray Henderson. Uh, speculation is that perhaps this song may have been written by a young lady who had maybe lived on the streets for a period of time and then had uh, made the decision to return home. Uh, it's uh, a title that you may be familiar with, Bye Bye Blackbird.
One other piece we'd like to take a look at with you today is, uh, it's a classical piece by Ludwig van Beethoven. You know, Beethoven lived from 1770 to 1827. Uh, and it was said that his, this particular piece was not, uh, was not uh, produced until about 50 years after his death. Uh, it has a very famous uh, melody to it. Uh, it's, it's a love song and it's called For Elise. Uh, the next piece we'd like to share with you today is one written by the, uh, the famous Fats Waller, and uh, it's entitled, Miss, I'm, Ain't Misbehaving. All right. 